Hey, what's up guys, it is Saints Fan, and today I want to show you guys some really awesome paint jobs for the brand new cars in GT Online, the Drift Tampa and the Ocelot Lynx. Now, I know the Ocelot Lynx is kind of overpriced, and I'm sure a lot of people didn't actually buy it, so I only have a few. The, the majority of the paint jobs in this video are for the Drift Tampa, but I actually have some paint jobs that blend with the liveries, and I think if you are going to go with the Lynx, that's definitely one of the best ways to go about it. And this first one is the blue you can see uh it blends in with the blue from the livery the zero that's usually on the hood you can't see it anymore and honestly i really like the way this one came out the combination of that with like the red and the sort of black on this livery looks really nice next up is sort of a lighter blue and you can see the what i was talking about uh on the hood of that one you couldn't see like the, the zero and the whatever logo that is, but this one is a little bit of a lighter blue, and again, the hex is on the screen. I think this one blends in with something on the top, but if you want a little bit of a lighter blue, because you still wanted to see the zero on the hood and on the back there, then this is a pretty cool color. Here we have the same livery, and this one is the red, obviously. You know, it looks pretty cool. Honestly, if I were to go with this livery, I would choose the blue one over this red one, but if you wanted the red to match, then there you go the fourth one this one is the other livery this one is the red to match it you know not bad looking it matches the top there uh, and you can see obviously the blue goes around it you know eh, pretty generic colors just red and blue and here we have the actual blue part of the livery you can see honestly I like this one a lot more than the red one for both of these liveries the blue version in my opinion looks nicer this one blends in with the top there looks really cool and you just have a little bit of red going around the entire car next up we're gonna get into the actual Tampa now and this one is actually with the haze livery as you can see and it's a, a lovely blue I don't think this actually matches anything on the livery but with a white pearlescent you can see it looks super nice on this car the shine is really great and it does go with the livery like the combination of the darker blue with the lighter blue and the reds on the livery it looks really good next up for the uh, the rag of rum livery this is the yellow uh blended version it blends in with the yellow on the bottom it's a little bit crazy i will admit but it does look pretty interesting and if you are going for you know a car that stands out this is definitely one of them if you want the green here's the green honestly this one is a little bit less flashy as the yellow it's still pretty bright but this one looks pretty cool because the green uh, it blends obviously with the regular green and the yellow stands out more as well as the sort of gray in the livery and then we have the actual gray part that is blended and this one looks pretty cool as well because you do get the uh, the color that pops a little bit more, the green and the yellow. Uh, and then the gray parts you don't see, which looks interesting. And if you wanted something along the lines of a lighter gray color, then this is definitely one of the better options. Now, as I'm sure many of you guys are aware, because I've seen it in the comment section, this car, the Drift Tampa, is roughly based off of the Hoonicorn, I want to say it's called. And... This is probably as close as you're going to get. Now, you can tweak the paint job a little bit. The paint job for this one is actually just a brushed black steel. You know, maybe if you wanted, you could put an ice white pearlescent to give it a little bit more of a shine. If you even wanted and you didn't want it as shiny, maybe you want to put a matte gray with a, or a matte dark gray with a white pearlescent. But this one, it looks really cool with this livery. And then you got to put the uh, five star, I think they're called, copper rims on. And that's about as close as you're going to get to the Hoonicorn. And honestly, it looks awesome in real life. And honestly, in this game, it looks just as awesome. This is one we actually showed off on stream. And I really like the way it came out. So I'm pretty sure it's just a Saxon blue for the primary with a sunrise orange for the secondary. And I think there's a white pearlescent on. Also, we changed the tires to the sunrise orange as well which go with it and I think looks really nice overall it's a great color scheme orange and blue it's just you know really they look great together and with this livery especially it's a good option just because I feel like a lot of people are going to be using that livery over there so using the haze one and and being a little bit unique is definitely a really great option and then we have the weed car only because like am I the only one that just it is reminded of like I don't know weed leaves or something it just, I don't know, it, this is literally just a lime green paint job, 
you can either go with metallic or matte does not matter dependent on the texture you want this one's shinier but like it just it just reminds me of weed and I don't know if you wanted something along those lines for a car then uh, this one would be great for you this actually might go good with the vape nation outfit that I did on fashion Friday last week here we have another really awesome one for the haze livery it's it's pretty simple to make all it is is a salmon pink with an ultra blue on the secondary although if you want you can perhaps match the blue with the haze blue there if you wanted to get uh, precise I guess but I like this one I like the change of the color on the rims and uh, overall again sort of like the blue and the orange one it's a great option for the haze livery and then one of the last ones I actually have to show you guys is this really interesting one it's a gasoline green for the primary with a yellow for the top and honestly it just looks it, it's it's kind of an odd color scheme especially with the lime green and the yellow on the livery but I really like the way this one came out and uh, here it is in some pictures you can see it looks even better like sort of at nighttime I think that's the true shine for this paint job if you wanted to go with it moving into some other pictures that I've seen and that you guys have tweeted me so here we have one that looks really nice and simple no livery sort of like the crew color I actually used to have in the crew the orange with a black secondary and then black out on the rims nice and simple look there here if you want a really really simple look just the copper on the rims and then an all black on the for the primary and the secondary and then going back actually to the Ocelot Lynx, if you wanted something, you know, nice and simple, here's a great blue. I think that might actually just be an ultra blue with a white pearlescent and then maybe for the secondary a darker blue or maybe even black. But it looks nice and if you did end up purchasing that car, you know, it might be a good option. Anyway, that is it with the video. Thank you all for watching. Drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. See you in the next one and as always, it's your boy Saints Phantom out. Peace.